what's up everybody, this is Mel for the Pizza Boy, and welcome back to Face of the Franchise. This is week three of the preseason, we're against the Green Bay Packers, let's get straight into it. Hey everybody, it's the coach, welcome to the special Saturday edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what ought to be a great matchup between the Green Bay Packers and the Oakland Raiders. So with that, let's get out to the East Bay in Oakland, California. On the call, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. This is the NFL on EA Sports as we welcome you from the East Bay in Oakland, California. This was the scene a few minutes ago. The folks around the stadium clad in silver and black going to make every last game played in Oakland count. They're ready to go as their Raiders get set to match up with the Green Bay Packers. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis with you. And now we sit, CD, at week three of the preseason. And this is the one that the coaches probably think is pretty valuable, right? Certainly. This is the dress rehearsal. This is the one where your starters are going to play. You might even game plan a little bit more than you do with a normal preseason game. And then you've got to decide, do you bring them back after halftime and get them going again in the third quarter so they're ready to go when the regular season begins? I'm eager to see how these coaches will handle that. All right, this game, I'm going to be getting three quarters. Okay, this is going to be a good one. I can't throw interceptions. That's what I want. Oh, I'm to this. First and ten, escaping the pressure right. This is caught by Antonio Brown. Good job, Antonio. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Now throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. And this is a guy straight out of college. They're not going to try to groom for a year or two. They want him to produce right away. That's why they took him in the first round. They expect him to be a starter right away and a future All-Pro. So they don't have any time to wait for him to come along. They want him to play right now to help this team. They added a lot of talent to a roster that really needed an infusion of youth. They got a very good infusion of youth. And they didn't really reach to get anyone as well. They stuck to their draft How philosophy, got the best players they could at the time they were drafting, and inserted them into their lineup. 27 yards there, a first down. Now those are the ones that hurt defensively. You do everything right. Excellent pressure, good coverage downfield, and then he slips out the back door and turns it into a nice game. It was a nice game. I, I, I give him on first and ten. Rap, rap. I still don't know how they let me Lewis, get that many goals. Operating from the gun. That is caught right at the 10 yard line. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. Well, they're piecing together a nice drive to start this one. Seems pretty scripted and pretty successful so far. And I think they did it without our help. Because you remember when we sat in with oh, them, really the production well. meeting with them to talk about this. And hey, you know, you guys didn't come out of the gate. I know, I know I offered my help with a few plays, and they didn't seem I, to I want it. Offer mine. You, know, you, were, you were the smart one. Whatever they're doing, though, it's working really well. And that's going to be caught for a there you go. touchdown. There you go. There you go. There you go. A seven yard touchdown ground. And the Raiders drive right down what the field that? and score on the opening drive. I think he had it, he did. Pretty sure he did. He did. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And they'll be looking to duplicate the efforts of drive number one that resulted in seven points in the seven-zip lead. Well, you know how much I enjoy horse racing, right? 
Looks like they caught a flyer out of the gate, as they would say when you run in the big time races. It means they got to out to a fast man. start. They're setting the pace. They not making the team chase now. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a game. Now a man open down the middle of the field. There we go. And he is in. Touchdown, Brown. Raiders. Antonio Brown, 42 yards. And the Raiders add on to their lead. Nice well, cast, nice catch, the nice touch on my Antonio. AB is in the end zone yet again, and that's not a surprise at all. His ability to turn something into a bigger play after the catch, that run after catch, one of the things that helps separate him is one of the elite receivers in the NFL. All I gotta say is, Antonio needs to quit being a bitch about his helmet situation. Throwing on first down, Lewis. And that is incomplete. He couldn't he hold on through the, the contact. Brings up second down. You know, last week I remember asking you, what would an offensive coordinator be looking for week two of the preseason? Now we're in week three. Defensive coordinator-wise, what's he looking at? For the most part in preseason, you're playing pretty basic stuff, pretty vanilla defenses. You're looking for guys that play with a bandit, that just go out and make plays. Oh, you got to let their athletic ability that. take over in order for you to notice yeah. them. Partner as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in oh, your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Lewis, from the gun, he'll throw. It's caught on the right side, Williams. Yeah, and he'll be taken it. down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 15 oh, more there, the and they're on a roll. It's another first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback well, let's get a really nice back into the game. Let's so into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. On second down now, it's Martin. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. That didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just started in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. And he won't get much. Maybe a couple down inside the 35 to the 34. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stop that one for a short gain. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to... Now the Oakland offense heading back onto the field to take no over. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your he head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit know. on a lead and play that way. That doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you put do put best. Exactly. Put it all the way down. Good job, bro. And try to increase your lead in the big way. And the best That's way to do it. Touchdowns. And he's taken down, but able to get this up to the 20 yard line. 11 yards there, first down. And we've hit I'm the two minute mark get in this more first half of from the uh, running back. Coming up at the half, a reminder we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. Now, left side on the swing pass, and he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage, the blocking, the timing.
timing of the pass to the runner. Everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. Think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. These offensive starters still out there in the second quarter. You would think the plan's for them to at least play into the third quarter, if not all the way through it. Yeah, Mike no. the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. I, I'm going to have to do this. <laughs> the play that one was not in there. To throw is Lewis, operating from the gun. He gets it to Brown, good play. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A Raider first down, 17 yards. Lewis now on first down. And there was absolutely zero pressure on the quarterback on that play. Third down, and he first has down all the time in the world to eventually find an open receiver for a first down pickup. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, he was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 to first. <laughs> I think the last two plays really illustrate how difficult it is to game plan against this guy because you know he can throw the football, but how about his use of legs as well, what we call those broken plays. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes I down. Like it, touch Preston it, Smith it able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. Flushed out right. Lewis has the first down and then some. And did oh, he get on the no, one yard down line. the one-yard line. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point cool, game though. as we send you cross-country to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime. And now due to a parent. Let's go. All right. Let's get this. Come on, Morgan. Here's Martin as they begin on the ground. Oh, God. Now and they'll blow that no. one up back at the 16-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. As we surmise, Charles, most of the starting units still out there for this third quarter. First time this preseason that they played into the second half. And that's by design. Most of the time by this point of the preseason, you want them to go into the half, cool down, and then come back out and warm up to start the third quarter like you would a regular season game. That's exactly what they wanted to get done. The best receivers we know always tease their quarterbacks that, hey, no matter what you do, you cannot overthrow me. But guess what? That's exactly what happened on that play. <laughs> Normally, they time it up pretty well, but on that one, he just overshot it. First time they've looked his way in this game, he comes through picking up the first. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available, and put I don't think the receiver he's running before any defender can step up the field. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, this is the third quarter. No time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments. Oh, you oh. saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Throwing back across his body. Picked up by Josh Jackson. And the return. What? And now here come the Raiders. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, it totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. There you go. take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious Man. because now you can't run any offense at all. Let's go on attack. We'll see how they attack him here. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. 
for big plays? Let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. The oh, no, here the Williams. Touchdown. That all the way in. Touchdown, Oakland. Touchdown. Tyrell Williams. 42 yards. And the Raiders add six to their lead. And remember, partner, that's a... Just four seconds left on the clock. It's gonna be the final play for me for this game. Two times, two times. Let's let's make it big. Here's Lewis throwing on first down, being chased out left. And he'll go down, and yeah, that will do it. That's going to be big. Third quarter of action. Back now in the East Bay. There we go. We won against the Packers. Let's get into the next week. All right, let's see what the coach wants us to do this week. Mm-hmm. Oh God. <laughs> the last preseason game is against the Seahawks. Let's get straight into it. Hey everybody, it's the coach. This is Thursday Night Football on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what ought to be a great matchup between the Oakland Raiders and the Seattle Seahawks. I'll see you again at halftime as we preview some of the action coming up on Sunday. But for now, it's Thursday night football. And on the call, as always, it's Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. With the beautiful Puget Sound just to our west, you get a look inside Century Link Field here in Seattle. These folks love their football in Seattle. This was the scene a moment ago as the home squad came out of the tunnel and it was just absolutely deafening in this building. They're set for football. So are we as the Seahawks get set to match up with the Oakland Raiders. I'm Brandon Gordon. As always, by my side is Charles Davis. So the final tune-up for the regular season and probably not going to really see much starter action out here in this one, are we? You're right. Not much in the way of starters, key veterans, key backups. But the guys who have to make the team struggling for those few spots that are open, we'll see them the entire time. But you and I both know this as well. There will be a surprise cutter, too from guys who didn't actually play in this game tonight thinking that they were safe. All right. I don't know how much, how many quarters I'm going to have in this game, but let's make them all count. Can't get a, can't get sacked, can't get a fumble, and can't throw an interception. Lewis on first and ten, flush to his right. It's complete to Brown, right side. There we go, Antonio and Brown. I got well field across the I'll look your way a lot. 23 yards on the play. <laughs> Go back into it. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he's able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. The first carry now for Brown. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in and the line of scrimmage. Me. No gain on but the I don't play. want that. Second down. No one wants to have a sack of a on the record. Eyes to find the gaps and creases or to find IMP. open space. There was absolutely none on that one. Totally swallowed up on that play. There's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. 
I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a game in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways because trying no. to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Picked off at the 36. And the return oh, stops good. just a few yards shy of midfield. The Raiders offense now making their way back that out onto the field. Not a good and there are parts of their last time they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? On, because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Now Lewis, buying time to his left. And he'll get oh, it out shoot. a couple yards shy of midfield <laughs> at the 40. I could do come out, but I get couldn't. eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Now that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Steps away to his left. And he's oh. going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Give the sack to Barkevius Mingo, the former number six pick. The thing is, well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody I, was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's it's faked out, we'll see the result. Like, like it's not a good sack or anything. Eluding the pressure. Right. People don't want to get open. Throw right side complete to Williams. And he'll be brought down right at the 45 yard line. A lot of scoring. Only There's no one doubt about that in this one, Charles. Points, they were not at a premium. They were pretty <laughs> oh, easy to come by. They were, but it was fun, wasn't it? Because both teams wasn't a good game. finding ways That's to That's all I can say. And you know was people love this game. game. They also love baseball games that are 14 to 11 with three or four home runs mixed in. Oh, two. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the... All right, coach. And, oh, Emily wants to talk. <laughs> I'm gonna say this one. All right. Okay. Let's advance three again. If she, let's see if she wants to talk to me again. Start the regular season by selecting right. your season goal. All right. Now let's see what she wants. All right, <clears throat> I gotta beat the Broncos, but that's for next time and for now. If you guys like this, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later, guys.